Patrick likes big sparks. I do. You well, are a spark guy. We play around with pla we basically we play around with Jacob's ladders. We've done you know spark gap generators. Basically, it's cool to see electricity jumping over air. It creates a plasma. It's excited electrons moving back and forth. Same thing as in a plasma TV. Similar. It's a much more controlled reaction. That's that's something that every time I can find a decent technical paper on what's going on inside of a plasma TV, it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Plasma well, just means energy, right? Right. And basically, you've, everybody's seen one of these, right? The little plasma balls. And the idea, though, is what it's doing is sending incredibly high voltage electricity. And inside of there, they high usually fill it. High voltage but low amperage, I hope? We can only hope. Okay. Well, you do have a layer of glass between you, but as we'll show in a couple minutes, that layer of glass may not mean anything. Which is why you're wearing safety goggles already. But <laughs> basically, you can see that. Over here. Can you see it in there? I'm trying to think of a dark spot to put back there. You can actually see the plasma inside of yeah, there. Yeah, you can see it pretty you well. You know, and you can basically form should it we, and shape we, it. Do you want to drop the lights so we can see a little well, bit better? We'll, we'll show a couple things for later. Okay. Lights, yeah. So what's interesting is we, we're poking around around Christmas. Randy Electronics, very cool company. They, they supply kits and they supply electronic projects and testing stuff. They actually had a plasma generator kit. And if, if we have a picture of it. There it is. Yeah, there's the actual, you know, it's like 65 bucks, 85 bucks if you get the power supply with it, and you can basically use it as the form of a toy, something right. to start doing high voltage. Would it be a good learning experience for the children? With adult supervision. <laughs> okay. In fact, I wouldn't leave this around the kids without an adult. What's nice about this is unlike most of the stuff you've, you've seen me playing with on the show, this will not kill you. You would have to work very, very hard. It can burn you. Okay. It but can it won't burn kill you, you and it can hurt a lot. It can hurt you. But it shouldn't kill you. But it you. won't kill you. This is a lot safer, especially the neon sign transformers we played around with. Those can kill you. Those can kill you. Yeah. This is pretty mellow. You so you told me that then. <laughs> well, you know, if I do that, you yeah, know, it's I don't like the whole thing. That's right. But if you take a look inside, we, we popped open a plasma ball. That's basically the, what generates the electricity down in the bottom half of there. And you can see there's a little tiny electrode in the top of there that it connects to. And that's where your juice runs up inside of there. And yeah. what is that ball at the top there? Well, as near as we can tell, they use a really bizarre form of steel wool that they wrap inside. It's a layer of glass inside, and then in between, they usually put some kind of gas, argon or neon of some form. And that's what colors that gives you the particular glow. It's basically noble gases that are excited by having electricity pass through them, and it gives you the fabulous colors. Oh, okay. So, right. ready to be scared? Yeah. Okay. You know what this is? That's the fluorescent light. Good. So this is our plasma generator. Normally we would connect it to the, see the little ball there on the end? Yeah. You do that to connect it to you. We're going to do a couple of experiments with it, so we're actually going to use it loose. So, so is it sending it in, out electric electrons, or well, what is it doing? Well, you know, this would be a good time to start dimming the lights. <laughs> okay, because it's actually, you're now going to excite that uh, the fluorescent. Oh, look at that. It's arcing yeah, right over Yeah, that's the it. spark right there. But and it's actually turning on the light bulb. Well, now it's really turning on the light bulb. And we get a nice spark in there, too. It's kind of turning me on, too, actually. Well, why don't you Very stay excited. over there? <laughs> back! Back before! So let's take a step back here. What is that how they make cattle prods? That is not quite. It's, okay. it's similar. <laughs> All right. It's Basically, curious. whether you're talking about a cattle prod or you're talking about one of these, you're running voltage through something. Right. Higher the voltage, oh, you get a nice spark. Bulb. Yeah. And this is a, your basic ceramic bulb plate. This is all stuff you can find in a local hardware store. Uh, except for the Ramsey kit, of course. And if I can get that in there the way we had it before. We'll That'll kinda, light up the bulb. It'll light up the bulb in a really cool way. This would be a good time to dim the lights again. So we got our light bulb. We're going to power this up. Do not lift the light explode? bulb. Will it, it will explode? Will not explode. Is it going to explode? Remember, this is, is designed to have electricity will it going explode? through it. Oh! Yeah. So that's a light bulb. It there shouldn't be doing bulb. that. Well, what we're doing, though, is we're, we're, we've got, in this case, it doesn't have a particular gas inside of there. It should be it's a, got vacuum. a vacuum. right? Yeah. But we are running electricity through that. It feels truly funky. We had everybody playing with it before, so we can actually get. So that's a standard light bulb. That's not. That's not a. Yeah, we use a clear one so you can actually see what's going on. Wow. But you can actually. So what's different about the electrical current you're passing into there? The electrical current I'm passing. This is running, I think, about 26,000 volts. It's super high voltage. Super high voltage. And what's okay. interesting though is, with super, as you increase the voltage on electricity, it behaves differently. This is the voltage that's inside of your television set, it's in your CRT monitor, it's your gas plasma display. Inside of your microwave oven, is running about 5,000 volts. Oh. So you've got different uses. Well, of you can get some interesting effects. Don't do this, but yeah. we've done that by putting a CD in a microwave, and the the, the sparks jump. Yeah. Well you, well, you can put a CD on top of one of these and attach it to it. Same thing you're going to you're going to vaporize the aluminum. It's going to jump through the Don't plastic. Don't do that. Actually, it's really fun. Mistake. What I like about the guys, that, the, the guy who did this at Ramsey's, very cool kit, very easy to, to follow along. Kids, get your adult supervision Obviously. in there. Obviously. But it's a really fun, and we actually have a picture of all the parts, the before and after. 
So could you make a plasma ball with this? You thing? can make a plasma. You, this is basically the power supply for the plasma ball. There's the kid up there on the screen. I see. If you really wanted to create a plasma That'd be ball, fun to put a these, plasma ball in his head. It could. And if we can, if we can find a neon shop, what well, you would need to do, right? you'd have to seal it. Right. You'd have to create a tube in the bottom of it to allow you to suck right. the gas out of it. But the really interesting part is, is like you pointed out, getting the electrode right in the middle of there, because that's right. where the electricity is going through and being dispersed. Right. Very fun, fun, educational, neat, and you know what? If you're terrified of high voltage, there's a lot of other kits you should check out. <laughs> Thank you. <Pat. laughs> we got details on plasma and generators and links all up at thescreensavers.com.